moving on. Yeah, well, you're early. I wanted to have this painted for when you got back, but it's too wide at bottom. What have happened to measuring it? Very funny. No, it's a gap. These posts aren't set straight. Perfect, this. All right, what have I tried fitting it? <gasps> you're not telling me there are parts of this village that aren't perfect. No, we can't handle between us. <laughs> it's big, you know, which. Another reason why I feel like going to the pub and getting bladdered. That lot's all I need on top of a lousy day, thanks. Nice to be well in with your neighbours, eh? As if I'm supposed to spend half my life justifying myself. Uh, at least said soonest, man, that if you ask me. Mm. And I think that gives us a close to where we stand. And there's another couple of rays of sunshine. He could please himself. He'd know our right if he could see sense. I think we passed that mark a while back. Ladies! I don't know what she's smiling at, the hard face, madam, spreading my medical history all over this village. They come here. <laughs> Why do you assume when I say going out for a meal, it's some kind of code? For looking to pull blocks. Well, you and Louise out on the town doing me a favour. We just want a night out together, that's all. Somewhere a bit different. Mm. Anyway, I haven't needed Nasta yet. You don't need me, do you? I'm just going to go for a walk for half an hour. Not on your own, surely? Yeah, so if you find any volunteers, let me know. Now, don't tell me you're not trying to get her fixed up. I could flatten you. Nothing would please me more. Especially if we could find her some nice, single multimillionaire. Then she'd have to climb over you first if you did. <laughs> True, but don't tell Jack, eh? Anyway, this is a girls' only evening. No fellas involved. Who would possibly want to interfere with you? Hey, watch it, you. I can remember you begging not so long back. Anyway, we're going to need one fella involved if things are going to go according to plan. Oh? You, Flower. Well, you and Louise, that'd be a stretch even for me. If you're not kidding with your heart. <laughs> no, calm down, it's something much more exciting than that. You're going to be helping out behind the bar. Since when? Since you volunteered. Probably need you about seven. Is it right the doctor says you have to go to bed at six o'clock every night until you're 18? No, you have to be nice to me because I'm not well. I've not been able to eat chocolate ever again. I'll tell him. There's only one one's telling over this business, and that's her up the road. You take no notice, love. You're in charge. There's no change there, then. <laughs> hey, I'm going up to the shop to get us some pop and crisps and a video for later. How about that? Yay. I'll give you a lift, but I've got to drop Dot off in Hutton. Oh, it's all right. I've, I've got my eggs. I'm taking them up to Robblesfield. Oh, we are a bit full as well. Oh, it's no problem. Eh? You're doing all right, though, you, aren't you? Yeah. You're small but perfectly formed, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> People are buying them, then? Oh, yeah, as fast as my chickens can turn them out. The trouble is, I'm stuck on bus and have to cart them around door to door in them boxes. I was thinking of nicking a shopping trolley, but I thought it's not really top businessman behaviour, is it? I need a little car like yours. Can you try? Not officially, no. Oh, I'll put it for your tests then. I I'm not big on tests. Oh, you can't let not having a licence get in the way of world domination. Anyway, best be off. See you later. Ja. Trash. <laughs> Love, what's happening with your Victoria? Is she all right? Poor little thing. She must have been frightened off to death. Oh, she's fine. She's back. Everything's sorted. How's your dad? He's happy she's all right. Not happy about one or two other things. I can imagine, love. I'm not so pleased myself. All that loud music. It's no wonder Dawn and Terry have up and left. They probably couldn't even hear themselves think. It's what they listen to these days. And even louder, going on about folks' medical doings. Yeah, well, we're all running round after her, as long as she don't get used to it. I hope your wife is aware of all the bother she's caused. Hard not to be round here, wouldn't it? We have to look after one another's interests. Something to bear in mind. Ladies, I'd rather you not have a go at my wife, you know, if you don't mind. Well, I am not a bit surprised over this business with the Sugdens. It's all about 
standards. All this horrible, loud, blaring music. And that is before I even mention my little patient confidentiality problem. You've mentioned that. The only thing that surprises me, Mrs. Eggleton, is that any problem of yours could be described as little. Excuse me. Has he just insulted me? Oh, and by the way, Siobhan never told anybody about the boils on your backside. One! That is all. Of course, he would say that, wouldn't he, the swine? She never mentioned anything to my knowledge. Time I got some of this junk out of the house. Oh, give over, Edna. Who else would pull a low-down, thoughtless trick like that? I think you need to look a little bit closer to home. Are you telling me that... Sorry. Seth Armstrong! Um, I, I won't be a minute. I'll just stick these over here. I'll just... I, I can fit all my eggs in one basket. <laughs> You know, whenever you're ready. Right, hang on now. Put my chain somewhere. Oh! What? Brought one now? You need a bus of your own, mate. Maybe not a bus, but a little van might do it, don't you reckon? If I could pass my test. Although, I, I suppose I could always try and knock up a sidecar and get a motorbike. Be cheaper on petrol. Just go and sit down, will you? I'm just dipping up to the farm. You do what you have to do. Dad, you know what? I'm just trying to pay the rent. Like I said, I'll try not to interfere. I meant it. Right now, just seeing that Siobhan looking like she couldn't give her monkeys. Well, say something then. I intend to. Yeah, well, wait until you're not liable to snap and not looking as bad as them. Right, here we go. We've got crisps, wine gums, orange jade. All bad for you. Plus, babe. Yay. Uh, don't you be wriggling about, Victoria. And don't be making her laugh too much. And it's only about the 26th time you've seen it. That'll do, pig. Hey, I've just seen Paul Marsden. Never opened his mouth, no how's your sister, nothing. That's because they don't care, none of them. Look, Dad, we know you're in charge and all, but you've had a lot to deal with. Why don't you just go to the pub? Good idea. <sighs> We're just going to sit and uh, pig out, <laughs> watch the video and be absolutely fine, aren't we? How do, pig? <sighs> well, I shouldn't, really. Dad, you should. Look at you wound up. You might not be able to see it, but we can. What, so my own kids are chucking me out of my house? Correct. <sighs> Listen, uh, you did good calling an ambulance and all. Some of that had to be done. By the way, if that idiot nurse had had more about her, none of this would have been necessary in the first place. I'll tell you, if she were a fella... Dad! Go and see Diane and have a pint. I'll do this next one and then I'll finish. Just leave it till tomorrow morning if you want. You're going into overtime here. I'm paid, obviously. Oh, I may as well do it now. It'll be one less for tomorrow. What do you think, then? Uh, yeah, it was great for me. I should be asking you. I'm happy. I couldn't be better. You've done a really smashing job. Oh, it was the same with me when I started. <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, you weren't. And you wonder why I'm bitter and twisted. I'm really interested to see what you do. Well, you never know. If you take to it, you could end up with your arm up a cow's backside and all. It's all glamour, this job, you know. Oh, do we have to? Yeah, you'd be better off with a nice, clean job. Hey, and what's cleaner than cleaning, after all? Nicola, please stop poaching me stuff. I think I've got ambitions beyond getting a new mop every month. Oh, go on. Mock. You know, we'll see. You'll be watching me sail by in my limousine saying, oh, we knew her when she had a note. Are you thinking of becoming a chauffeur as well? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but you can't play ACDC too loud. It's just not possible. People can only get to if you take notice. Right. I forget it. You get me. What do you think you're doing drinking at this time? Uh, you can talk. What are you having? Uh, lager for me, Shiv. Yeah, two pints of lager, then. Have you seen the state of them two over there? Carrying on as if there's nought to do. A bit less cockiness wouldn't do any harm. 
Hey, are you still trying to get that silly gate of yours to fit? Hey, it puts ten grand on the value of the house, that. Oh, you better do us half a dozen, then. Well, I've had a rotten day, seeing as that nobody's asked. Yeah, but nothing a couple of pints won't sort out, eh? We'll see it now and then. Oh, that's if we're not too exciting for you. Us, with the black sheep of Emmerdale. Have you not heard? Hey, when you finish that, get upstairs and get yourself sorted. We're going out. Where to? Hotton. I booked a table at Mario's. Italian waiters all night. Don't really fancy it. Tough. We're going. Anyone that says they don't fancy going out in that tone of voice needs to get out. And the bar's going to be in safe hands. Don't worry. I won't go that far. The lads have got everything under control. Come on, it's a quiet night. They can't do any harm. Thanks very much. Oh, go on, then. I bet you're ready for a pint, aren't you? been home to get changed and the place is a tip. Well, you're the cleaner. I run a professional cleaning agency. This is about whose turn it is to tidy up. Yours. Well, I thought we might get Laurel to do it. You know, on the firm. Excuse me? That's my company's time and money we're talking about, so no chance. It's down to you, darling. So, how's your Victoria Jack, Lord? Oh, a lot better, thanks, Petty. Bit of a poor do when your own kids have to sort out an emergency the medical profession couldn't even see. Mm. Jack, let's not have any bother, eh? I know you're annoyed, but I just thought I'd ask how your Victoria's getting on. Annoyed? I'm surprised you're even interested. Not in here, Jack. We're all upset. She's getting better. That's the main thing. Yeah, no thanks to the so-called district nurse. Please yourself. I wouldn't mind, but we haven't even had anything resembling an apology so far. I've nothing to apologise for. All right, I'm sorry for what happened and I'm glad it's sorted out. But I'm not going to start justifying myself, because you've obviously made up your mind already. Hey, we expect better from us neighbours round here. Hey. You know nothing about it, so mind your own business. Why am I even arguing? That's right, fob me off, just like you did with our Victoria. We'll know next time, won't we? I'm not listening to this. I told you. Don't get involved. Shiv, come and sit down. If you want medical advice, Jack, ask somebody about getting your head out from your backside. We'll get you on the waiting list. All right, oh. let's calm down now, shall we? <laughs> The thing with Nicola is you just got to let her believe that she's in charge, even if she's no idea what she's on about. No, you see, that would drive me around the bend. You just got to keep nodding and smiling. I let her get away with some of the stuff because she's just so good at some of the other stuff. And uh, is this her idea and all? What's this? Is she, did she give you this? New employee started back and I've seen this before. See, this is typical of her. She's either half. Generous and half of that, she? Well, I'm also really glad I'm doing something constructive. Been a bit um, out of it recently. Well, I'm glad we've got you, so don't worry about it. <laughs> right, see you later. See you later. Hey! I'll be late tomorrow morning. Don't want to upset Nicola. Right! Are we all settled down a bit now? I'll have a dry white wine. Our spirit of free enterprise coming on then. Oh, look at Stets here, you look knackered. No pain, no gain. As it comes to putting all your eggs in one basket. I'm a victim of my own success. More eggs I sell, the more I have to carry them about, get buses and that. Well, there's a lot to be said for bins, saves having to think. But see, if I'm going to expand my customer base, I've got that flood of then I've got to get my own transport facility. You want to get a little van, Sam? That'll solve your problem. So he can't drive, can you? Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, see? Cos I'm going to put him for my test. You mean, actually, on the road? <clears throat> Two more lagers, a pint of bitter, a dry white wine, a small rat poison for me, just to please Jack. I saw this joke about now, is it? Oh, get over yourself, Jack. I thought we weren't going to get into this. Will you explain to him, then, that I'm not allowed to treat minors? That's the little ones, you know, with the Irwin. Oh, well, maybe it's my fault for assuming that a sick child is something that a proper nurse is supposed to be interested in. You all right, love? Fine, thanks. I'm just counselling Jack on his hearing problem. There's no need for that. Look, why don't you just clear off back to where you came from? We can manage without you. Oh, that's enough. Both of you. 
It's just as well we're going out tonight. I don't need help dealing with the likes of him. I go into houses every day where they'd have him on a butty. We've not been in this village for two minutes and the, and the whole family gets dragged into a pointless row over what? All right. A mistake. Hey, not by me. If he's so concerned about his family's welfare, what's he doing propping the bar up when his kids just come out of hospital? Why don't you mind your own business? What's the other point, then, eh? Well, you're not exactly Mr Family Man, right. are you? Just cut it out, the pair of you. Sorry, Diane. Ronnie, drink up. We're going home. I'm not letting him talk to me like that. Well, I've told you. Go somewhere else, then. You'll all be going somewhere else in a minute. You've got a mouth on you when you're talking to women, haven't you? It works for blokes as well, so, like I said, mind your own business. Look, just stop it. This is ridiculous. Ronnie, come on. I don't see why we should be driven out of the pub because of this prat. Ronnie! Doesn't matter. I didn't come out to cause bother, not like some people, eh? No, you generally come out looking for something else, don't you? Jack, now shut it! What, me shut it? No! Ronnie! Oh, no, 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 I don't need anybody telling me what to do. I've finished my point, yeah? Then we can all go home. Nice and civilised. I'll not embarrass you by counting it if you tell me it's all there. Well, if you find this too much there, you will let us know, eh? Is that likely? Well, not unless I seriously lost it, no. I heard there was a bit of a to-do up your way last night. I, th I think it was just a one-off. Well, I hope so. It sounded pretty serious. I believe she's all right now, though. Sorry? Victoria. You are related. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, I thought you meant... No, she's um, fine. Yeah, she's probably slowed down a little bit, but everything's sorted. So long as you don't slow down as well. I must admit I'd anticipated having to wait longer for the rent. Don't have to worry about that in future, though, obviously. Well, it's a lot of money, but... If that's what I've taken on. So long as you don't have to rob any banks. <laughs> uh, well, not yet, but it is a thought. Should I tell you the perfect conversation between a landlord and a tenant? The only contact they should ever need to have? Go on, then. See you next month. You can't beat a bit of excitement. I don't know. Excitement's hardly a regular feature of my life at the moment. You know, it's all about making an effort to get out there. Thanks for the tip, Marlon, but I seem to remember I was before World War Three broke out. Mm, maybe you should try clubbing it. I mean, you never know. And who's going to take me? You? I'd take you. If I wasn't heading for sunny Spain. You're really going? Well, that depends on you two lovelies. Before I go and book me ticket, is it all right if I have a couple of days off? Of course it is, love. Just let us know when it'll be. You're not still thinking of coming, then? Oh, no, someone's got to stay here and mind the fort. You give them my love. Yeah, I want the full clean, spit and polish. Well, whatever it is you do. Mill Cottage, tomorrow morning, or oh, after nine o'clock, I send you have left. Sorry? No, no, never mind. No, I, I was just thinking out loud. Yeah, right, I'll see you then. Bye. Look, I'm really sorry, Diane. We're not like this. No, well, just remember, we're the only pub in the village. You can remind your wife of that as well. Oh, a bit quiet in here. <laughs> What's yeah. happening? There's been a bit of a rumpus. It's a good job my dad came, weren't it, yeah? Oh. Huh? Here, just picked up two more jobs. Just by being able to get out to Hotton in my new mobile. <laughs> yeah, and I've just picked up two fresh oars in my boats. Will you be all right keeping your eye on things while I go and sort Jack out? Sure. I take it Italian waiters are off the menu. Sorry. You just have to put up with us, then. <laughs> right. We've finished our drinks now. It's a good time to be slipping off. Why well, should we now? He's gone. Uh, I wasn't talking to you. Come on. I didn't need to do all that. I haven't seen him that wound up for ages. What did Jack say? I missed it. Dunno. Must have called him someone that set him off. I can't believe he just snapped. Especially when you pretty much handled it yourself. You're proud of yourself? I know. You've had a lot on your plate lately. 
but a bit of self-control would have been good. I was mortified. I'm sorry, love. I didn't mean to embarrass you. God knows I've made enough of a fool of myself without dragging you into it. Just shut up. Get me a drink. That's twice you've said that to me in one night. And you're still not doing as you're told. Don't suppose you fancy watching, babe. All right, so I went too far. I've said I'm sorry. What more do you want? Just don't talk to me, Ronnie. You're bothered about that lot in there. You know exactly what I'm bothered about. The bloke was asking for it. It's all her fault again, this. What are you on about now? Oh, don't come the innocent with me. I know you. Siobhan. What are you like, eh? I'd have done the same, whoever it was. Ten seconds more, and that business with your little barmaid would have been all over the village. That's exactly why I wanted to shut him up. Oh, that's all it is, isn't it? As long as you can keep everything quiet, it doesn't matter what you do. Oh, you're going to give me this is your life again, are you now? Oh, no, because mine's too short. You don't even consider Paul, do you? Not when you can step in and rescue the damsel in distress. That's all it was. Oh, don't treat me like an idiot. Then don't talk like one. I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs>